Hey lovelies, Sandra Ivy Rose here. Welcome to my channel. For DIY number one, we're going to be using this item from Dollar Tree. And we're going to start out by using this hot tool to cut off the handle off the spoon. Hey lovelies, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and that you are staying safe and staying healthy. Many blessings. If it's your first time here, welcome. On this channel, we make high-end, budget-friendly DIYs. So if you guys are into this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. I make weekly videos. And don't forget to click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. All my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm making a hole right in the middle so I could put the spoon through it. Okay, next I'm going to be using this hook that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using my hot tool to make a hole and then screw the hook right in there. So I got these zigzag jewel border stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be creating my design with those and I'm starting out with the handle um, and I'm going to be putting those stickers on both sides of the spoon handle. On this part of the clip, you see me using the stickers for the bottom part of the spoon, but I did change my mind and remove all the stickers and instead painted it painted black um, to match the decor better. Okay, so I painted the bottom part black using jet black paint by Apple Barrel, and I'm just heat drying it now. I also got this um, light fixture from Dollar Tree. It's gold, but even though I love gold, um, but I wanted um, to paint it black to match the, the lamp decor um, colors that I'm going for for this project. I didn't show it in the clip, but anywhere that's gold or silver, I did go ahead and paint it black. And for the bottom part, I used Diamond um, Dollar Tree <laughs> Diamond Wrap and to create my design on the bottom to bling it out a little bit. And on the side there, you see I took out a string from the Diamond Wrap and applied it to the um, handle of the spoon to give it the look that I'm going for. I used this little stand that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I used um, diamond wrap to bling it out a little bit to give it the look that I'm looking for. If you can't find this particular stand, you can use Dollar Tree wooden boxes and paint it black and use diamond wrap um, to bling it out and that will help you achieve uh, the same look. Stay tuned till the end to see how I put everything together. 
all right so we're moving on to DIY number two and I went ahead and spray painted those beads you see there the wooden ones I got from Amazon and the other ones I got from Dollar Tree and I'm using some wiring that I had on um, in stock <laughs> um, but I got those from Dollar Tree as well and we're going to be stringing the beads along into the wire to create our design And for the end, I'm using these crystal gems to apply um, to our design. So I decided to bling it out just a little bit more after um, cutting the little wires there. And I used Dollar Tree Diamond Wrap and cut out a strip and wrap it around the two ends. And that helped cover the, um, the, wire, the wires as well. To make it um, extra blingy, I did go ahead and use some Mod Podge and some silver glitter um, to give it more of a sparkly look. Okay, for DIY number three, we're going to be uh, blinging out these books that I got from Dollar Tree. And for this DIY, I'm using two books. I did go ahead and spray paint this book um, the silver color. And for the pages on the side, I did mod podge them together so that they um, held together nicely. And what we're going to be doing here is adding some glitter um, to give it a more sparkly look. For the border, we're going to be using the diamond bling wrap um, and then we're going to be using those zigzag stickers to create our design on, on top of the book. And for this book, we're going to use the same process. We're going to use the, the Mod Podge and the glitter for the pages um, so we can have the bling look. And then we're going to paint the book black. And then for the spine, we're going to add some gems uh, that I got from Joann's to give it a more blingy look. Hey guys, don't forget to check out my playlist on the channel. I have my high-end craft playlist and I have my spring playlist. If you haven't seen those, please check them out. Next. Alright guys, it's time to see how everything is put together. Wow guys, these projects turn out so beautiful. And let me know what you guys think. And would you consider making any of these projects? And where would you put them? Would you use it in the office, your coffee table?
be sure to drop in the comments which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed this week's video, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Well guys, if you are into high-end DIY projects on a budget, well please consider subscribing to my channel. I have more to show you guys. As if you want to learn how to make other high-end looking projects on my channel, please click on this next video right here. Well thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys on the next one.